Hey guys, so before the video begins, I was going through my videos and I kind of noticed something kind of messed up. So, this is my normal Plants vs. Zombies video, episode 1, but episode 2 has 52 views while this has 10. Even though the only difference between these two is that this one literally has Vor in the title and in the tags. So you're thinking, oh, you just piqued someone's curiosity, that's all. That's not the thing I want to show here. What I want to show is what it recommends. Edina Menzel, Aurora, Into the Unknown, Frozen 2, A Nursery Rhyme, Kid Stuff, Another Nursery Rhyme, More Kid Stuff, Peppa Pig, with a ro What the fuck? What is this? I, I don't even know. Nursery Rhyme, Nursery Rhyme, Kid Stuff. Pretend to play barbecue from the same channel toys and colors More kid stuff Peppa Pig. What what the fuck? Okay here, you know I'm gonna go back to episode one and show you that that's not what's recommended See all my normal recommendations lots of dead by daylight shit. Oh Wow, it's Actually, all Dead by Daylight shit. Some political stuff that uh, you should not look into. So, normal stuff that's normally recommended to me, but the minute I put Vor into the title and tags, it automatically starts recommending all this kid shit. Like, could we have Susan get off her ass and just look into this? Because I think Elsa Gate might still be a bit of a problem here. Alright, now that I'm done ranting about this, let's just get back to the video. Hey guys, Boney McBonichin here, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Now in this episode, we're gonna continue on with the adventure, and play a little, uh, Wacka Zombie. Continue- Oh, wait, 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 you can do this? Uh... Yeah, let's continue where we left off. Oh, shit. So, yeah, this time we're actually handling zombies in the most, uh, sensible way you could. I'll take that out in the front. So, on top of just murdering zombies with a hammer, some of them will drop sun, allowing you to save up for stuff. Only these three, though. And no, you cannot destroy the graves without the grave buster. Also, they're actually, um, maybe twice as fast as normal. Yeah, maybe. Okay, they are definitely faster, I'll say that. But yeah, I would like to talk about that. What the hell went on with episode 2? It's kind of fucked up. So, an another thing I want to talk about. A lot of... Well, someone at least must have noticed that there is a new link in my description for something called BitChute. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like YouTube, but without all the, uh, how you say, bullshit. Basically, BitChute is what YouTube is supposed to be. A platform for creators where they can make money and express their opinions without worrying about being thrown under the bus by Susan Wad... Wajkiki? How, however the hell you say your name. Oh god, okay, it's getting a little out of control now. On the bright sides, we're making a lot of money from this. Oh shit. Oh! No, before we grab that, I'm just gonna... 
mulch a lot of these graves out here. But yeah, this is one of my favorite plants in the game right here. I'd tell you about it right away, but for now I'm just gonna get some free money. Because I'm poor. Don't worry, I'm not that poor. Just very stingy. Okay, now I'm thinking of this one. Hey, we got the achievement penny pincher. And on top of that, we got the hypno shroom. Makes a zombie fight for you. Now it's only a one-time use plant. Oh god. Hey! Wanna buy an extra seed slot? It'll cost you $750, but you'll be able to choose seven seeds per level instead of six. How's that sound? No! Bummer, dude. I isn't that the second time you offered me that? No, no, oh, okay. Okay, now I'm starting to regret my choice here. Okay, um... Puff Shroom, Sun Shroom, Landmine, Walnut, gonna be pretty big. The, the Chomp Meister, and you know what, let's go with, uh... Hip... Oh wait, hold on, better yet, I have a better idea. Isn't there an achievement where... Hold on, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an achievement you can get for this where you complete a nighttime... Okay, get this, get this out of the way! Oh, okay, cool, it, it just... Uh... Oh, wait, here we go, achievements. I, I don't know what they did with this, it's so weird, and... I can't click on anything. Okay, but bear with me, I'm pretty sure there is an achievement you can get for playing an entire level without using any sun. I'm also realizing I forgot Grave Busters. So, even if we don't get an achievement out of it, I can say, Hey, click on this video. I, I did this level without any sun. And those giant football freaks. Or, as most people call them, football fans. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't want to offend anyone here. More puff shroom. More. We we can always show this off in the next level, anyways. It's fine. Although I'm not gonna lie, this is taking a bit of a while. Oh well, that gives us more time for more puff shroom. Puss shroom. Oh god. Oh, that sounds so gross. Uh. That sounds like a really disgusting enemy. Pus shroom. Ugh. Ugh. And those two are mulched, so... Uh oh here comes the conehead. Gotta get some reinforcement into that one. Or was it complete the challenge without collecting any sun? I don't know. Just to be safe, I'm not using anything else 
other than the puff shroom. Oh god, here comes the big boy. Oh lord. I'm gonna need to slow this guy down as much as possible. Ugh. Throw another one at the problem. Okay. They're about to kill him. They're about to remove the helmet at- Oh god, the helmet's not even mostly removed. Come on, I have faith in you two! Don't let me down! See, you- You got his helmet removed. Come on, come on. He's almost dead. He's- No! Oh! 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 Last one! Absolute clutch! Oh, I can't believe we made that <laughs> literally on the very last puff shroom possible. Oh god. Oh, it's getting really tensed up. Oh god, this this is not going to be easy. Okay, if we do somehow lose all of them, at least we have the lawnmowers to fall back on. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, they, these guys are so dead, it's not even funny. You know what, the least I can do is speed up the process for them here. Let me just kill my own friends here. So now, you're about to see what lawnmowers do. Wait, did we actually get an achievement? We didn't. We did not. Uh, I'm... I'm okay. I'm okay. No, I'm not. We did all that for nothing. That's okay, though. Sun Shroom. Scaredy Shroom. Hypno Shroom. Grave Buster, Ball Nut, and, uh, hmm. You know, just because we're dealing with these fucking things, uh, Fume Shroom. Let's go. Oh, God, I'm so glad I brought that. Okay, maybe the scaredy shroom wasn't the best idea, because now we're neglecting, uh, sun production. Like, a lot. Oh my god, that- he's just killing them too fast! We- we might be in a bit of trouble here! 
Oh my god, we don't even have enough. S oh! Okay. Brains. This might warn a restart. Or, you know what, for the views, I'll just go along and see how it goes. Useful. Uh, you don't know. We, we both know <laughs> it's not gonna go great. We just know. Now, let's see. At least throw the puff shrooms back into the ring. Long range shooter that hides when enemies get near it, which is not as useful as you would believe. Oh, God damn it. Okay, here he comes, so we'll just put that there. Another fancy sun shroom. I'm just realizing I forgot to turn on my goddamn stopwatch. Which was supposed to determine how long this episode was gonna be. Aren't I a genius? Hold on, let me check how much time we really have, um... 16 minutes, okay, not bad. Not bad. Also, you might hear a odd noise off-screen on occasion. I just want you to know that I'm actually watching two dogs now instead of one. Which sounds great, but, um... In reality, it makes things a lot more difficult, considering one's a... I... How do I... S I okay, I was gonna say something, but that would've been mean, so... I'm just gonna say, he's a very strong pit bull. They are... They are both staring at me from the glass window. I... Okay, I'm pretty sure they want in. Alright, hold on. So you see, normally when I'm making videos, Leo, the eldest dog, sits outside in his little doggy dementia zone and just kind of stays there. Like he actually stays there on his own free choice in case you were wondering. And the other one, Bubba, is super rambunctious and freakishly strong. Just walking him is basically like pulling a goddamn Corvette. And the thing is, with Leo, usually I leave the sliding glass door out because as soon as I have to record, he has to click his toenails all over the linoleum floor because fuck me, right? Okay, he just went back outside. Bubba's still in here. But, yeah, I'm just gonna say it might be a little more difficult for me to record. That was weird, did did anyone else see that? No, it's probably just me. But yes, it's actually starting to become a little more difficult for me to record, because now I'm realizing I have to juggle these two dogs, and the other one that normally likes to spend 30 hours a week outside is now wanting to come inside because Bubba's here, and he's like, Oh, time to come out of my depression. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. I think it's great that he's finally coming out of this, like, little doggy dementia thing he's been doing. But it, it also hurts my recording quite a lot. So on the bright sides, you guys might see a lot of no commentary videos later on in the future. Oh, I almost forgot. I should probably uh, mulch these while I still have the opportunity. Oh, 
mushroom. Also, hopefully, maybe you guys just outright won't hear all the just rambunctious noises they make. Oh god, gotta get rid of that. Also gotta prepare a hypno shroom. You know, I guess while we're at it, just put one there. Because these suckers have a really long recharge rate and it's kind of ridiculous. Ooh, gold coin. No, don't you dare eat that. Don't you dare. Okay, good. We got it just in time. Also, in case you were wondering, uh, no, these are actually not my dogs, technically. You see, for the past... Oh god, he, now he's going for water, it's gonna get super loud. So, for the past, uh, year, starting uh, last December, I've actually been watching this house for a couple, and one of them happens to be my, uh, godmom. They've been paying me quite a lot here to watch their dogs. And, of course, now, I, I don't know what it is with these dogs, but the minute I put on the headset and turn on OBS, they, they just have to make all the noise. Like, you see, has, like, I know for a fact that, like, Bubba's barely eating all day, but the minute I'm recording and talking, he's gotta eat. Oh, and there we got, a a zombie hit with the Hypno Shroom. Like I said, the Hypno Shroom is consumed, but upon doing so, he just marches onward and eats any zombie he comes into contact with. See, watch. And he just died instantly. Maybe I should be putting these things up front. Are, is that yummy? D does the food taste better when I am talking? Maybe that's the key to YouTube success. Maybe I just gotta start making videos where I'm talking about like being an ASMR waiter for you. the mushroom. So normally, when you're going to, um, try to put it- oh shit, he's playing Dead by Daylight. So normally, when you're trying to put a Hypno Shroom on a zombie, you gotta put it on the strongest and least injured one on the field. Oh, look at this, we got a new shroom. Ice Shroom temporarily immobilizes all zombies on the screen. You know what? I think we've got time for one more level. Oh god, this guy! The dancing zombie! Not encountered yet. Oh my god, I didn't realize you could do this. Um. Also, I don't know why it's lagging here. i tell you what. This time, we're gonna go with the sunflower! Nah, better yet, maybe that's a good idea, that. I shroom, that shroom. This shroom, let's go. So, like the Hypno Shroom, the Ice Shroom is a one-time-use plant. But when you use it, 
it'll basically freeze all the zombies on the field completely solid for a certain amount of time. Which is really good if one of them's about to breach your defenses entirely and you're thinking, Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh here we go. Slap that down and uh, boom. You just bought yourself an extra... I'd say... 15 seconds? And even after they uh, break out of their sort of... Frosty paralysis, they are still slowed down exponentially, so... It's an all-in-all -all good plan to have if you're expecting a lot of really horrible things to go down in your future. I may as well, while I'm at it. Oh boy. I'm just gonna slap this right here. That's right, you get the fuck out of here, you dirty commie. Oh, oh no! Quickly! Shroom that man! Aha! Now eat your friend! Eat him! <laughs> Eat him too! Oh my god, he got eaten himself. Man, that's pretty fucked up. Guess while we're at it, we'll start heightening our defenses. Time to show the power of the Ice Shroom. A little closer and... There. Now eat your friend! <laughs> yes! Do it! Oh my- Oh, I also forgot to mention. When you turn a Disco Dancer into a hypnotized one, all of the other zombies he spawns will be hypnotized as well, so now he's eating him as well, so that's good, and he gets to live a rich, happy, natural life of eating other zombies until he dies. This is nature. You don't know, you- Oh my god. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, this boy. Oh, the Edgemeister. Ladies and gentlemen. The Doom Shroom destroys a large area, leaving a crater in its wake. So what this, uh, what this thing does is 
it destroys all the zombies in the field, but it leaves a crater that takes some time to heal, and you can't plant anything in that crater. Now, before we do, is there a sh- I remember there's like a shop or something. Oh my god, is it just not gonna let me do enter the shop until I fucking buy something? Maybe it's in the almanac, uh... No. Oh, right, achievements. Yeah, that's so weird. I could have swore there was one where you had to uh, go an entire level without using any sun. Let's see. Beyond the grave. Planting only mushrooms and coffee beans. During a single level. Noble pin prize. Collect all 49. Yeah, you can see... That some of these are gonna... Oh! No fungus among us. Complete a nighttime level without planting any mushrooms. Okay, so I guess that's what we're doing next. Ew. Alright, well, this concludes episode 4. In the next episode, we will be trying to do the uh, no mushroom challenge. This has been Boney McBoneton here. Have a good day now and goodbye.